Warning, there are spoilers to follow, so turn away now if you want nothing spoiled. As redundant as that sounds. What's up, everybody? <laughs> and your face right now. Welcome to TVCaptive.com presents the As Seen on TV podcast for The Originals, Season 1, Episode 19, An Unblinking Death. I got it right, yay. This episode, Father Kieran takes a few turns for the worse, the werewolves suffer a surprise attack in the bayou, and Elijah finally picks sides. But before we get into all that, I am your host, Mike, and joining me is the love... I, I, noises are confusing my directions. The lovely Omikins. Hi. Hi. You don't... I guess they're in here underneath me or something. I don't know. I hear loud noises through the walls. <laughs> okay. You got those earbuds and you can't hear jack shit right now. The cat could be sneaking up behind you going, and you wouldn't notice. She's not. No, she's right there. <laughs> so, what'd you think of this episode? It was um, much better than the last couple. I'm definitely I'm... better than the last. Yeah. It's uh, definitely there's a lot more action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More action, less boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So I guess, um, let's get right into this flat-up question from that we figured we asked towards the end of the episode, but did Oliver order the attack on the werewolves in the first place? Why would he do that? I don't know, but he pillow suffocated the blonde dying werewolf lady. Well, it's because she was going to die anyways. No, he kind of like did the whole arch-villain... No, he didn't really spill his entire plan. But he did kill her. He did kill her, and but... And then he went for a grab for power. Yeah, well, I mean, she was kind of like the leader because she's the only one that hadn't activated the curse, therefore she wasn't cursed to begin with, so she wouldn't turn and all that stuff. So she was handling everything while these guys were off being furries. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it is a power grab for him to get rid of her. She was dying. She wasn't going to heal. She would need hospital. She would need a hospital to completely recover, and they live out on the bayou. So, question is, if he did, say, for some reason, order this, is he working with another faction? Vampires? Humans? Witches? Of course he is. Of course he is. He can't do all that alone. No, he, can't, he can't handle the wolf's bane to make a bomb out of it. Very true. Plus, suicide bomber. Compelled or witch hex. Could be either. Could be either. Um, Considering that Klaus had, had nothing to do with it, mm -hmm. Elijah had nothing to do with it, and Marcel said he had nothing to do with it, what other vampires are there? It kind of leads to the witches, and they're kind of... The witches were kind of like out of the picture, sort of. There's a little scene with with um, Genevieve this yeah. episode. That's it. That and the whole last episode of Kill Klaus's Baby. That, too. So, maybe. They're, they're kind of hanging low. Being crafty about it. I'm gonna slap Dom upside the head for writing this, but question. Can we call him Oliver Twist? Next question. <laughs> Blamed on Marcel? <laughs> You good? Yeah. You recompose yourself? Head stopped hurting? Why is he not here right now? I want to... I know. I know. Just pop him. Anyway, uh, blamed on Marcel. Effective? Um, it's, you know... From his, uh, his dramatic little, um, scene he did at the party for the witches, it makes sense to blame him because he was causing trouble to begin with. Mm. But... As we found out, he doesn't do that stuff. He doesn't like, you know, there's kids there, and he said he has a heart for kids, so. Mm -hmm. But that brings us right on to the next point, that Haley confronts Marcel after working over Diego, and I'm thinking, great, she's going to go on badass kill streak, killing streak through a room full of vampires, even though she's completely outmatched. But Haley confronts Marcel and finds out that he was the one who rescued her in the first place as a child. 
she doesn't I mean, I don't think she believes him, but what else can she do but say but smile and nod like, yeah, okay. Well, it, well he did say he has a soft spot for children. I think it's mm-hmm. brought, been brought up multiple times now. Yeah. So I believable for me. I perfectly believable for me. I that I yeah. I'll go for it. Yeah. So Father Kieran is dying. Is dead. Wait. Well, shh. Not yet. Actually, he is, but not yet. We're we're a few minutes from that yet. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> karma I got you. My keyboard. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Go on. Golf clap. Anyway, did Cammy really think that shock therapy would work? She was desperate. Anything to help along. Maybe, you know, even, you know, <laughs> curb the hex for a few hours was good for Cammy. That she thought it was a good idea. Mm. So, um. Desperate measures. Desperate times, desperate measures. Blah, blah, blah. That. Anyway. So, Kieran dies. Cammy in a fit of hysterics tells Klaus who came to visit by the way at Marcel's urging Marcel and Klaus want to kill each other and Marcel's like hey just wanted to let you know that Father Kieran's about to die Cammy might need some help he goes she begs him give him your blood he does whatever turns out we find out later that this was Genevieve and I'm guessing Vastiana's plan all along have Claude Kieran turned into a vampire and what's the point? Well, now you have a renegade hexed vampire running around. Yeah, but Kieran would have never went through with it. Not on his own. If you notice, the hex came on. He That's was ready true. to die. The hex came back, and he reasserted it by just licking Cammy's blood off the knife after he cut her. So that was enough to make the transformation. Would you, what would you have thought? You well, got Marcel, you know what? You got, yeah. The thing is, Kieran would have changed. He would have been crazy hexed. Klaus, all them other peeps would have been like, dude, we're killing you. And he wouldn't last an episode. Pretty much. He would have had maybe an hour or two of havoc to wreak if exactly. Klaus didn't get there in time. Mm-hmm. But, um, Kieran's dead. Yes. Very sad. Yeah, he was, a di- he was an interesting character, for I sure. I liked him. But upon death, Klaus allows Marcel 24 hours in the French Quarter to bury his friend. Klaus being too soft? He's not being soft. He's being mature. He is, it, there yeah. is a, There's a huge difference between soft and mature, and I think he's being mature. I agree. He, um, he realized he agreed that Kieran was a good man. I mean, yeah. Marcel knew him forever. Klaus mm-hmm. just met the guy, like, the beginning of this season. And Klaus said, you know... When he was sta- you know, right before he staked him, he said, "I apologize. You deserved way better than this." Yeah. So, Klaus actually respected a human. Yeah. That's pretty uh, crazy. Anyway, what was the key around Kieran's neck that Marcel now has and wanted in the first place? It's got to be a key to some sort of crypt in the cemetery. Of course it's a crypt. Why wouldn't it be a crypt? It's gotta be. (laughs) I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Why can't it be a safe on the 12th story of a building? Because I don't think there's a 12th story building in the French Quarter. Not in the French Quarter, probably, but in New Orleans itself. Well, duh. Duh. But I mean, it just seems more, you know, storyline, you know, keep to it, sticky, sticky. Eh, Crypt, I got you, I got you. Yeah. But what, I mean, what could the key be, so, is it like, you know, a theory of mine is, is this key why the human faction can compete? Is this, like, their ace in the hole, their one-up or something, over the supernatural entities in the French Quarter? Uh, that's probably what it is. Because realistically, how can the human faction compete? You got... N- numbers. But aside from numbers, sheer numbers is all they have, because witches have magic. Vampires mm-hmm. can mind control you if you don't have vervain anywhere on your person. And not to mention they're fast, drink your blood, and kill you very quickly. 
You got werewolves who turn into wolves and can kill you very quickly. And they're very strong naturally. Very strong. And then you got two original vampires who could mm-hmm. make, you know, one never, of which... Never die unless... Who can't die unless yes. very specific singular weapon that is in Klaus's mm-hmm. possession. What happens if they, de- you know, get beheaded? That is a very good question. Do they just, like, you know, pull a delphine in a box? I don't know. (laughs) Honestly, I can't imagine how... I can't see how you could possibly ever behead one with how fast they are. You'd never get the chance. I don't think anybody would ever get the shot. They can still be, you know, immobilized by, like, Vervain and all that other stuff. Um, you have a disembodied voice. Mia? (laughs) Okay. Should be okay. Disembodied voices. Anyway, um... Where was I? Right, so I don't know what'll happen if they get beheaded. But I'm thinking this this key's gotta be something, because, like, we aside from numbers, humans have nothing, really. Yeah. Um... So Elijah finally, towards the end, chooses to side with Klaus and the werewolves. With this, does Marcel even stand a, sh- a chance? Um, I don't know. I don't know what Marcel's plan is, to be honest. I mean, he really just wants power back. He wants to be part of the French Quarter again. I don't know if he really, really, really cares that the, uh, the werewolves have no part in it. I mean, he does have his views that, you know, the wolves just want to get their power back, and that's the way it was when he took over the French Quarter. But, um, maybe that's not the case right now. Maybe he realizes that the witches are a bigger, you know, threat at the moment. You can't really tell what he's thinking. I mean, he says things, but that's probably not what he's really thinking. Hmm. Okay. I can go with that. Um, do you think Klaus will turn the entire werewolf tribe into hybrids using the baby's blood? Or attempt to, at least? I think he's gonna attempt to. Because, you know, being a hybrid? Come on now, seriously? Right, so, but that'll sire them all to the baby. Exactly. But the baby's gonna be like, Daddy, what am I supposed to do? That's a couple of years down the road, but... It doesn't matter... As, until the uh, t- until an infant until a toddler gains coherent thoughts like go do this, I must walk. There's not going to be any commands for those sire hybrids. The, the, those are going to be that's going to be the safest baby on the planet though, surrounded Ex- by fifty you know exactly. hybrids sired to him. Her. It. I mean it. I mean and well. Her, right? Is it a girl? They haven't really confirmed. I thought they I, did. I think it was a girl, maybe. Um, but like. Um, sorry. I mean, I think the most command you probably get out of that baby be like, I have a dirty butt in the head, or I need mommy milk. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Those little thoughts. I mean, God, what, 50 freaking werewolves going like, Haley, feed your baby, feed your baby. <laughs> I can sense some comedic things coming out of that. But, um, anyway. Anything else on this episode you want to talk about? Not really, I mean... It was a good episode, but it was It was very... a good episode. It, it, the, thing, the things that happened were actually really, really contained. Cont- yeah, there were like just a couple of main plots contained nicely. Mm-hmm. And no crazy tangents or randomness. Nope. So next episode, episode 20, that's mm-hmm. three more episodes this season. Wow. Yeah, it's 20, yeah. So... It's called A Closer Walk with Thee. Um, Haley confronts a surprising enemy as she and her unborn baby fall into peril during a celebratory wake to honor a fallen member of the community. So they must have a nice ceremony for whatever her name was, who's dead. I honestly don't know her name. The blonde where... The blonde... Um, oh. not- yeah, I don't remember her name either, but, you know... Mm-hmm. The werewolf, not A fallen werewolf. member of community. Now, is that the Bayou community, or is that just the community as a whole? Because she is part of the council now, and Kieran is part... He was part of the human faction. So it could be a celebration for Kieran. True. Oh, right. Very true. Um, in order to... So, who is the surprising enemy? 
Oh, it's probably Oliver and that bullshit. Yeah, fuck. I, know. I hate you know that what? guy. I know. I know. Don't even have to say it. You're good. We got you. Everybody's got you. Yeah. Um, in order to save Haley, Klaus and Elijah enlist the help of Genevieve, who's struggling to maintain maintain control over Davina and the other young witches. Good. I know. Davina's going to be at one spectrum, and the other two are going to be at their own, and Genevieve's going to be like, I don't know where to go. The, if she was smart, she'd be with Davina. Kill if Genevieve, she... kill Monique. And I'm happy. You know what? No. Genevieve is fine as long, you know, when Monique is gone, the other girl comes back, right? It, yes. It's, I mean... No, when Genevieve is gone, the other girl will come back. Right now, Genevieve's taking the, the spot of a harvest girl, right? Say Monique were to die. That's an open spot in the Harvest Girls. I don't know how that would work exactly, but I, possible. I, think, I don't think so, but it's uh, possible. Uh, well, you know, keep punching my fucking keyboard. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the mouth on this one. It's pissing me off. My freaking knuckles, man. Um, No, I know. I just... My freaking knuckles, man. My freaking knuckles. No, I just... I'd like to see Genevieve stay over Monique. So if... Genevieve can stay, you know, maybe till next season. I just hope Monique is gone. That's I all. agree. So, continuing here, mm -hmm. Camille tells Marcel that Francesca Correa, as in, well, C O R R E A, I, I, Correa, whatever, um, is determined to find a mysterious key that may unlock a family secret. Oh, is that Kieran's key? That, that Marcel, Marcel now has. Oh, it was like she's after this key. I don't know what it. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one. Meanwhile, as Klaus suffers from nightmares of his father Michael, he is forced to examine his troubled relationship with his own adoptive son Marcel. Okay, so the other side thing is coming into play here because mm -hmm. Michael would not appear to Klaus unless the other side was in shambles, and this has to do with the Vampire Diaries. Ooh, good point. Very good point. So, mm. A unless it's some kind of... No, it's got to be some sort of small crossover. It's you're gotta right. Be, you're you know, right. They're connect... I mean, the shows are connected, but they're just... They seem like they're, all, they're connected, you know? I, I was going to say, unless it's some kind of werewolf venom-induced hallucination, but Klaus can't be affected by that. He's mm -mm. hybrid. Uh, or a witch hex or something, but that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. He's piercing the veil to screw with them. Oh, my God. Anyway, think some kind of reconciliation between him and Marcel is coming? Oh, of course. They're not going to get rid of Marcel. Everyone, you know what? Marcel is a lovable character. Marcel is one of the characters, like, they can't kill off. It's like from... Mm. No, it's be like killing off Matt permanently in the Vampire Diaries. No, more main you know character what? than Matt. No, Matt can die. <laughs> Matt, yeah, Matt really serves it's no It's like purpose. killing off Jeremy. There you go. Well... That's that. Next week, that's what we got to look forward to, everybody. Yep. So, Lady Omikins, where All can right. the people find you? They can find me on Twitter. At Lady that. Venom 24. That. Over there. L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M 24. Yes. They can find me, Mike, on Twitter at Thilladren, T-H-I-L-L-A-D-R-E-N. Uh, we really need a bouncy thingy. We do. We need a bouncy ball. Um, you can find all of us and all of these lovely podcasts that we do on tvcaptive.com as well as on Facebook, Google+, YouTube, Twitter, Gmail, at ASOTV Podcast, all one word. Uh, like us, follow us, send us a message. You can find more of your more podcasts for your favorite TV shows over there. Um, till then, I'm Mike. That's Omi. And catch you guys later. Stop dancing. I can't help it. LMFAO, man. Mm. I'm uh, so scared I know it. <laughs>